Hi everyone, Hamish here for the Uplay team at Massive Entertainment. And today we've been lucky enough that our friends over at AMD have sent us through this super big 2950X Ryzen Red Ripper so we can give our encoding PC a little bit of a boost. Now, if you are running a dual PC streaming setup at home, make sure you stick around and we'll give you all the information you need to know so your Threadripper encoding machine is running like a dream. All right, so first things first. After we'd swapped out our 1950X for the 2950X, we wanted to get a baseline and check in on the Cinebench R15 performance to see just how much of an increase we were getting. And without changing anything, we went from a score of 2,934 to 3,213, with both CPUs running all of their 32 threads at their default settings. But obviously we're not gonna be using this CPU just for benchmarking. What we're really interested in here are the implications for our stream, and that means OBS. Since we're pretty set on sending our Twitch stream out at 1080p60 at 6,000 kilobits per second, what's important is our CPU preset. Now this is gonna define exactly how much work that CPU is doing on getting that quality up there. In OBS, you'll find a list of speeds that range from ultra fast to placebo, with these faster speeds being less taxing on your CPU and the slower speeds getting more and more CPU intensive. Now it's kind of hard to visualize what that means for your stream quality. So here's an extreme example. We've kept all the settings the same, sending the Division 2 benchmark into our encoding PC via an Elgato 4K60 Pro. As I mentioned before, these three different CPU presets are extreme examples, but it's clear to see the quality difference between them with Ultrafast being heavily artifacted. That's what all the blockiness that you see in that rendered image is. And then when you look at the slow preset, it is noticeably crisper. This, of course, comes at the cost of CPU usage, which will, of course, drive our temperatures up. It's worth noting that the thermal limit by default on these CPUs is 68 degrees, so you'll want to monitor that very closely when you're running your tests. You can, of course, always unlock this limit, but you do so at your own risk. We recommend that when you're running your encoding tests, do so with Ryzen Master Utility open and keep a close eye on those CPU temperatures. If you do start hitting that 68 mark, you'll start to notice that OBS will fail to encode, and we definitely don't want that. Since our current cooling solution isn't super tailored for this kind of workload, we actually adjusted the peak CPU speed in Ryzen Master Utility from 4.1 down to 4, so we stay within really safe temperature limits and get a really stable result at our target encoding settings. The good news is the 2950X had absolutely no issues hitting our target encoding settings even when it was slightly downclocked. Now we don't want to tread too deep into how the X264 renderer works, but there's a little bit of information you might need to know when you're setting up your stream. Since our target is 1080p, we're actually using 27 threads in our custom X264 settings. This does mean that for a 720p stream, you'd be best to use 18 threads. Threadrippers also love RAM, and you'll notice that four sticks of fast memory do wonders for your OBS encoding. For our setup, we tested both four sticks of eight gigs at 2,666 and four sticks of eight at 3,600, which we slowed down to 3,200 to keep it super stable, and both of these configurations worked great. All right, that's a lot of information, but if you want the TLDR version, here it is. Watch your temperatures and limit those peak CPU speeds if you need to. Then, depending on your resolution, you'll also want to make sure you're using the appropriate amount of threads in your X264 settings in OBS. Lastly, you'll want to make sure that your RAM configuration is on point, and that will mean, in this case, four sticks of RAM in the appropriate slots on your motherboard. And if you want to see this encoding machine in action, you can catch it over on twitch.tv slash the division game, where we run all of our gameplay streams. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.